to show you the tools and functions, uh, we will do a conceptual design of a steelwork construction that is home for a couple of fume hoods with exhaust, drain, and cooling water connections. We will start by designing our steelwork construction. So as soon as we click the steelwork button, we have access to the different libraries. So you can select between C, I, and U section. Uh, in this case, I just pick an American pile. So as you can see, the first thing we need to choose is uh, the starting point. We just pick a random point here. Second, you have to decide what direction the profile is uh, supposed to look in. In this case, you see that the main SketchUp axes are used and highlighted in order to ensure that you have exactly horizontal or vertical beams the way you want them to. By clicking, we just confirm the direction. And now we have to pick the rotation. So this, the uh, scale you see now is uh, done in a way that the inner circle allows you 90 degree rotation. One circle further outside allows you 45s. One more, 15 degrees. The outer circle, 5 degrees. And if you are outside, you can completely free choose the rotation. This chase, in this case, we just stick with the standard one. By clicking, we can now uh, decide what height we want to have. Uh, on the small scale, you see the right side gives you a metric indication and the left side imperial. You can, of course, also input the length with your keyboard, which we will do in this case. As our Thrisking tools integrate seamlessly in SketchUp, we make use of uh, the SketchUp copy functions. If we want to duplicate our steelwork beams, now we just give our small design a floor. To add a beam on top of this one, we just click the tool, select the direction we want to have it. In this case, it will lock exactly if you are adjacent to the top of the existing beam or if you want to be on top here. By clicking, you confirm. Here, you can select the camfered beam, which doesn't make sense any sense here. So by clicking Escape, you can just roll back one step. And now we can catch the link. As you can see, this is quite easy. Now we want to do a 90 degree in order to support the roof. So we just go on top here. And we can rotate the profile here. Uh, this button here allows you to change the size and even standard if you want to. We just go down a little and uh, pick the direction we want to have. We want to have it here. And we want to have it end exactly here. So in order to align it in the center, we just use our SketchUp tools and catch the center point. So now our steelwork construction is finished in a way that we now can proceed to the fume hoods that are housed inside.